Okay, so we're doing tortellini and tomato sauce today, right? I want you to pay attention to how I dice the onion. Um, I'll get rid of the outer skin, I don't want it, and I'll stick it over there. Are you watching? Right? You see what I'm doing? I'm sure I've showed you this before, right? That if you don't do, do it like this, what's going to happen is that when you get into the second year, and you have your lecture over there. Yeah, you'll be pleased with your with your with your skills and your performance, right? So what you're doing that often. Yeah? So you've got nicely diced onions, right? When it gets to a little bit like that, you can't do anything about it, so I'll just top it out. That's how, that's when I do that, yeah? Alright. Celery? Like that. And then, just like that. Yeah? I want you to pay attention because, right, part of your assessment will be how you prepare. Yeah? The, the cooking might come out really great, but if you're not preparing it well, I'm going to assess you on that and you won't pass, right? Could I get, can you chuck that out and fill it up with cold water? Because that that will be ready that will be ready soon, right? Now, the tortellini, right? If it was if it was spaghetti, I'd leave it in there for another ten minutes or so, right? Tortellini, five minutes, maximum eight minutes, because um, if you don't, it will overcook, right? Could I get a spoon with holes in it? In the meantime, right? I'm going to put my cheers. See how that's like. Yeah. Cheers, right? So I'm going to refresh. This is what I've been mean by refresh, yeah? Now I'm just, I'm going to just test that. You don't have to do this. Give it another five minutes, all right? So I'm going to refresh that. I can turn it up a little bit now, right? But notice that I had it on a low fire. With the garlic, you can kind of do it anyhow, this sort of thing, yeah? But it's not really gonna matter. So with the garlic itself, I'm not gonna really be too bothered about the garlic, but the celery or carrots or anything, I wanna see you use the techniques that I've showed you, right? If you're not sure, I'm gonna put the video on, on Google Classroom anyway, just watch it, yeah? Believe you me, at first it's going to be hard because anything that um, is professional takes training, takes practice. But once you get used to that, right, you'll find that it's the quickest way to prepare. Yeah? It might not seem it at first. Right. So, uh, give it a few more seconds in there, right? I sweat my vegetables. I put a little teeny bit of oil in there because I know that the butter it burns really quickly, right? But you, you see, as you can see, I'll show you. Look, right? A little tea. You don't have to if you don't want to, but just to make sure that I sweat the vegetables without burning the butter. I put a little bit because oil slows down the 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 process of the burn of, of the butter. Yeah. So I've got that. Once I'm sweating my vegetables. I'm going to add my flour. We're looking for a light roux, so we don't want it thick and heavy. Stock powder. Tomato puree. Tomato juice. Or tomato juice, tomato, oh, chopped tomato, sorry, excuse me. Now I'm gonna mix that in. 
Turn it down. Then I can add my water to get the consistency I want. While that's happening, I can refresh my pasta. The last thing you're going to do is present your pasta. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a presentation after that. You, I'll put it on there. It doesn't have to be hot, but I'll put it on there for you guys to see what it should look like. Yeah? Now, once that comes to the boil, I'm just going to let it simmer for 15 minutes. That's all it will take. And that should be cooked. What do you reckon? Yeah? 15 minutes. That's all it will take. It's so simple. Yeah? It's so simple that it's simple. Right? The last thing I'm going to add is my sugar. Because um, the tomato puree and the tomatoes it could be a little bit sour. So this will give it a little sweet tinge to it. Right? What I forgot to add in there. Could you pass me one stick of thyme, please? One stick of thyme. Just one stick. Because it's just a small amount, it doesn't need too many. Right, that'll do. That'll do. Right. And I'm just going to put a little bit in there. That'll do me. That'll give you that ooh la la. Ooh la la. Right. So that is me done. Right. You guys, in about 15 minutes' time, I'll plate it up, I'll show you guys, then I'll put it at the front. That is what I'll be looking for. Yeah? yeah. Yes? Yeah. You can get on and do your thing now. Right, so you reheat your pasta again in the water that you cooked it in for 30 seconds, right? And you'll see it should be more soft and easier to work with, yeah? I'll put enough pasta in there and enough sauce in there this is a portion yeah notice what I'm trying to avoid I don't want no tomato sauce around the side there right once I've got enough sauce on there I'm going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Mm. Just enough. Once again. Try to avoid having it around the edges. Under the gorilla. To gratinate it. For two seconds. Voila. Simple and easy. Yeah? Right? So. La la, tortellini, mmm, delicious.